Hi. All right, so I'm Micah, if you don't know me, and today I'm gonna go over using this B squared brush with the flat end to apply your 3D foundation as just a simple way to, well, just another option or a way to, a way to throw it on really quick when you're in a hurry. All right, so um, if you're not familiar with the products, it's Mascara Beauty, <clears throat> and all the foundations are cream foundations. They're not powders and they're very blendable, and um, so you can really, you know, there's not, there's a lot, there's room for mistakes because you can smooth them out. So, I have all the colors there. So first I'm gonna start with my, if I have, if I've um, given you guys two highlight colors, start with the darker highlight color, not your contour, but the darker highlight color. So for me in the summer it's amber. So again, I'm just gonna use this brush today. It's the more dense end of the B Square brush. And this is kind of a thing if you're just running out to the store and you just wanna smooth out your skin tone, this is a good brush to use for that too. And I'm just gonna, gonna go over my whole face. So if you can hear music, my boys are outside listening to what I believe is the clean version of In My Feelings, but over and over and over. But Josh is happy as can be because he's out there dancing. All right, so again, no, you know, just like you apply typical foundation, just like kind of putting all over your face, just kind of throwing it on kind of evening out your skin tone. And then you would take, if you wanna go in with a lighter color to brighten up your under eyes, you could do that. Um, but if you want, if, if you wanted just to stop there and throw on maybe a little bronzer and some blush and head out the door, totally fine. Um, so that's one option. So that would literally take a minute, two minutes. I'm gonna go in with the lighter color just under my eyes a little bit. And you can see already what that's doing, the lighter color. So the lighter color I'm using here is Aura. I've also used white peach, sunlit, so there's lots of options. And sometimes there's not one color that's just gonna look the best. Sometimes you can really play around with a couple of different colors. <laughs> All right, so then I just threw the lightener on. Um, I have like some red spots too, and I can use the small end. So this is the detail hack brush. I can use the small end just to kind of touch up those places. This is this end is kind of like a little eraser. We just dip into your highlight color, just kind of dab it in. All right. So if time allows, I'm also going to show you an ombre eyeshadow. We'll see if everyone's on their best behavior outside. I'm looking at them right now while I'm talking. All right. So the next we'll do the contour. All right, if you're on, you can say hi. Um, keep me some company. So again, these are many of the contour colors. I use indigo. I've been playing around with, um, excuse me, olive. I've been playing around with indigo, which is a pretty dark shade. Um, so you can see it's this one, but um, it really, it, it's, it works more than you'd think so. More than you would think. Okay, hi Brandy. All right, so. This, I, I wanna like take some time on this because this is where most people, I'm not gonna say go awry because th there's no mistakes, literally. But some people go too low and you wanna more put it on the bone rather than like here, you kinda go up. So if you start at the hairline, that really keeps you on point of where you should actually be putting it on. And I like to use this brush and I go in on the side and I'm just making a little line. So if you can see, obviously it's not blended, but. <laughs> bronzer only mode is a good mode to be in. All right, so I put the bronzer in, I mean, the, put the contour in, and then I'm gonna swipe up. I was just saying, Brandy, that I just put the highlight color on, and then, the, like, the other day, I ran out of the house for a doctor's appointment, and I put my highlight color on, a little bronzer, and um, mascara, you know, and it, like, it literally took me a minute. Okay, so I'm just gonna start to blend that a little bit, and I can blend that more later. So again, that is the contour, you put it, again, more on the cheekbones than under. So I'm gonna start at my hairline, blend down. And this always looks a little bit odd when you're in the process of it, and then when you blend it all out, it all it comes together. I never think it's going to, but, I mean, I do now, but 
it took me it took me a while all right and then also you can put the contour up here so contour think contour and shadow all right and again all my stuff is just in the palette that's magnetized so I'm gonna give myself a pretty big stripe up there to kind of shorten my forehead if you have a tiny forehead you'll go a little bit um less oh no matter how many times I do this I still can't find my words but it's okay I still can't believe I'm even doing this but people say to do stuff that scares you and I definitely like I don't do roller coasters because there's no reward in that for me but this this is enough um, <laughs> for my fear okay then I can do the side of my nose a little contour I don't know it's I just do that sometimes anyhow and I'll blend that out too. Okay, so I have contour on that's not blended and I'll pop some blush on. I have them in all the containers. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys the Sunset, Desert Sunset Blush. So most blushes are um, the same consistency, but there's, there's three blushes that have a different consistency that are more dewy and their finish are more glossy. Am I gonna show you? There it is. So sorry. I had some little people moving my stuff. Okay, this is Desert Sunset and I have it over here because these are all really glossy. That's also where a child dipped in. Um, so Black Cherry, Petal, and Desert Sunset. So um, love these. This is a great lip gloss but you'll see hopefully on the camera it just really it's like the kind of look where you're like oh I wonder how they do that um, when you see somebody with their makeup on and and this is how because it doesn't look oily it just looks just I don't know just like your skin is so moisturized and just so pretty and again the powder that I used to wear from Bare Minerals it just sat on my skin and this really just you know enhances your skin and of course like the foundation if you have the right color it should completely blend almost like taking on a second skin all right can you guys see that brandy if you're still on can you see that and i'm sorry if you're not we're back okay all right so there's some blush that color since i have the color out, i'll go ahead and throw it on my lips So this is a really good color, a really good universal color. All right, and speaking of bronzer, I see it. I'll go ahead and throw that on too. Oh man, <laughs> we've got things happening. I know. Okay, can you guys work it out? No. Yeah. Then you'll both need to come in. No. He's fired. Parenting break. Go ahead and work it out, okay, and I'll be out in a minute. He's fired from the house. Alright, so this is the bronzer. It looks like contour, but it's not at all. It's more it doesn't have any orange undertones. Lucas. <laughs> Alright, so now you've got some Drake in the background and crying kids. Also, it's like a good soundtrack. Okay, so I just threw some bronzer on too while while I was there. Alright, so that's pretty much the base of the makeup i have the highlighter on the contour some blush um and i put the the blush on my lips as well okay so while i'm on here thanks brandy okay so the point is really for me i like to look really natural some people um really like to look glamorous and you can do that too you would obviously just just add more or add like a brighter <laughs> add, that's a scream of joy um, add like a brighter blush or something like that and so while I'm on here I'm gonna go ahead and do because people are behaving most people some um, an ombre eyeshadow look um, I've been playing around with this and I saw somebody do a sunset look and so I tried it today and I'm gonna show you guys all right so ombre you know that's like all the rage right on birthday cakes and on hair um, okay so these colors right here, I'm gonna go from dark to the very light and work up my eye. You can use this in any shades. The other day I did it in all purples, I've done it in all browns, um, so I'll show you. It's I'll maybe try to do it a little bit heavy in color so you guys can see it. 
All right, so again, what other, whatever colors you're picking, um, kind of, you can do it. Just pick like a light to dark. And I'm, I am gonna throw some um, eyeshadow primer on. I've never used it in my life, but now that I've, I've tried it out, and like if I was going to work all day, I wouldn't use it like right now, but if I was going to be, have my makeup on all day, I'm definitely doing this from now on. Because if you take the time to do it, you might as well have it stay, right? All right, so I'm gonna, so this is our, hey Luke, 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 a little bit quieter and be easier on your This is the eyeshadow everything brush. And then I like to use this, I call it the pencil end. And when you really wanna like put a lot of color on your eye or really get it pigmented, this is a great choice. This is more like of a blending end. Um, so I'm gonna go into this color called Kin, right here. And just put it on the lash line. The other side of this camera is Isaiah and Josh doing the Kiki dance. <laughs> All right, so Ken is like a purplish maroon color. Let go of Marin, buddy. The kids love Marin too much. Okay, this is the next color. Hmm. Mihiha, it's super pretty. It's never a color to ever, 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 ever pick, but I, real, I use it way more than I thought it would because it's so bright, but it's also part of the foster care program um, where all the proceeds go to the foster care program. All right, looking crazy. See, like if I was using the fluffy end, this would not go on that dark. And also the eyeshadow primer um, helps it like go on more, more dark too. All right. I'm gonna check myself out. It's really hard to see. Whoa, yeah. All right, I'm gonna tone this down soon. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty bright. All right, then Valencia, which I use this pretty much every day, and like an orange peach color. I'm gonna put that next. All right, and then on the top of my eye, I'll put this Sabrina color, which is, I, I wear that pretty much every day too. It's just like a, a whitish cream color with a little bit of shine. And again, using that end really places the eyeshadow real heavy. All right, now I'm gonna go back into the Valencia color, boom, and I'm just gonna take the fluffy end now and blend it. Hey, Lucas, you're being way too rough with Grace and Marin. They love the dogs, but I mean, it's, it's too much love. She's a baby. All right, so now I'm just kind of going over everything and blending it. All right, I'm gonna go back into the Sabrina color with the, with the pencil end. Hey Lucas, Lucas, no. And then do the inside corner. So sorry, just trying to protect my puppy and my children. So this is just optional, but anytime you do eye eyeshadow, putting this light color just really opens up the eyes. You can also put it right about there and right in there. All right, um, now I'll go ahead and line my eyes. Um, oh, also I have this thing, so when you do like an ombre look or even a smoky eye, you wanna take your medium color and it's more like, I wanna say not trendy, but that like harsh bottom line is kind of a little bit, so loud, babe. A little bit harsh sometimes, and so if you take like this end of a brush or something with a dense end, you take your medium color, and then you just do like a soft little line underneath, <laughs> instead of a harsh dark line. I feel like it's it has just a better look to it. I've been trying it more and more, and I like it. At first, I was afraid it would all fall down and look like I had a black eye, 
but I think I think once you get like mascara on and everything, it looks okay. Um, same way, so you can take that same dark color and then instead of using an eyeliner, you just use the same eyeshadow. So I'll go, I'll use this color that I used down here. And just throw it on. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, nothing I do is exact. It's not my specialty. Okay, so I never did this before, but someone told me to. And I think it really actually helps. I've never, ever, ever lined that. I always lined the outside of the, you know, these, this part of my eye, but again, I'm just learning along with everybody, right? And so I've been trying this and I like it. And again, you wanna take that lower line and like follow this line, right? To make your eye open up instead of this line and drag it down. And you can blend that in. Can you, guys, can you guys hear the music? <laughs> All right, here we go. So again, you're gonna take this line and go up. So we're doing this. A parenting moment here. So I just have the, the brush and I took the darker color and just lining the top of my eye. It is really hard to stay focused here. Two seconds. And I'm back. Now you can really hear the music. Yes, got it. All right, so since, since I kind of have a lot of eye makeup on, we did this like sunset.